Hey team, today we're gonna to talk about the HTML blink tag. We're gonna talk about what is it? And can you even still use it? I'm Colby Fayok. And if this is your first time here, make sure you hit subscribe for future updates. Blink is an HTML tag that lets you flash text on a screen. Simply wrapping some text with this blink tag lets you quite simply blink text. But as you can see above here, it's deprecated, obsolete, and you just simply can't use it anymore. It has pretty much no support in any modern browser. So you might be thinking you're out of luck, right? Well, luckily as MDN shows us here, we can replicate it with some simple CSS. So we're gonna start with a simple example where we have the word blink 182, but here we're wrapping in the blink tag and you can see that it's not working. So I'm gonna just change this to a span of the class of Blink. Next, I'm gonna create some keyframes where I'm gonna actually create my animation and I'm gonna call it Blink. When something blinks, it just basically shows itself and then hides itself, shows itself and hides itself. So we can start at a 0% with an opacity of one. Then we can set 50% at opacity zero. And then we can go back to 100% where we set the opacity at one again. And now that we have those keyframes, we can actually create a class for our blink span tag, and we can define the animation. We're gonna say blink for one second, and we're gonna say infinite so it just continues forever. And now we can see that it's animating, but it's not necessarily blinking, it's just kind of fading in and out. We want it to actually blink just like the blink tag. So we're gonna go back to our animation definition, and we're gonna add the steps function. We're gonna say for one step and position it at the end. And now we can see that our blink is actually blinking. So it's 2020, we could probably do something a little bit fancier than just a blinking tag, right? Well, actually, like before, if we remove those steps, I feel like that's a little bit more modern than having just a simple blink tag anyways. The fade out is a little bit nicer of a touch. Or what if we wanted to try to do one of those cool sci-fi effects where it kind of fades out to a blue? So I'm gonna change the keyframes and remove this 50%. I'm gonna change the 100% to zero and set a color of blue. And now we can see when it fades out, it fades out to blue, which gives that cool retro-y sci-fi-y look. I can also change the one second to three seconds, which slows it down and kind of just enhances that fade out effect. Now something else that might be cool is if I make it grow out to fade out and then it kind of comes back in with a fade. So I'm gonna add back in my 50% and in there, I'm gonna make it transform scale to two and I'm gonna set that opacity to zero. And now we can see that it starts to fade out as it grows out. Next, I'm gonna add a 51% and I'm gonna set that opacity to zero to make sure it stays there, but I'm gonna transform it to scale of zero, because then let's remove that color blue since we don't need it anymore. We're gonna make it fade back in, and we're gonna set that transform simply back to one. Now we can see that this effect kind of makes it grow out and fade out, but then still come back in. It gives this nice kind of three-dimensional effect where it's coming back at you, but then coming from behind it. So while it might be a bummer that we don't have our handy blink tag anymore, we can easily replicate this with some simple CSS animations. The cool thing is we can take these animations and apply it to really anything we want, whether it's trying to replicate the marquee effect, which is similarly deprecated, or if we wanted to try to create this really cool pulsating sphere effect. CSS animations can be really powerful and they're flexible for whatever you want to try to create. If you followed along with me, you should now be able to replicate your favorite blink tag in any of your projects. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.